So I really have three myths, Jennifer, that I wanted to kind of talk about um, to debunk and kind of yeah. have a conversation around things that I'm hearing out in the market when I talk to people that want to get into franchise ownership. The first myth is that the only type of franchise is that sort of premium QSR, meaning quick service restaurant model. So your Wendy's, your uh, McDonald's, your Starbucks. Yes, those are franchises. That is, is really where the franchise market began. But that is not the only type of franchise. So that's the first that's, thing we want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So that's great lead in because that only, you know, scratch the surface, if you will, because there's so much under the franchising umbrella other than fast food restaurants. And, you know, the, the good thing about it, because when you talk, start talking about the brick and mortar, those tend to be the higher end investments, if you will. But, but you know, you don't have to think about franchising in that way because there's so much more. And there's so much more to, to that low end entry point where you can get into franchising and it could be a great model for you at a great entry point. Absolutely. And we will bring that information to you. And there's probably, and uh, the International Franchise Association says that there are about 300 industries that are currently using the franchise model. I want you to think about that for anybody that's listening, 300 yeah. industries. Only one of those industries is the restaurant industry. We're talking yes, only one. We're talking <laughs> hospitality. We're talking vending. Uh, we're talking um, seasonal. We're talking home-based. There are That's a lot right. of... For you. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the ones. We're talking pet services. We're talking senior care. There we're talking go. digital marketing. We're talking vending. Head honey. All of these options are available. They really are. So I think what Jennifer and I are really kind of wanting people to understand to an extent is if you have a trade, there is a franchise opportunity for you. So if you're if you're listening to this and you're writing something down or you're taking notes or you're tweeting <laughs> something out, that's a tweetable right there. I mean, it really is. If you have a trade, if you have a skill, and I know that you do, there is an industry and a franchise model for you. And that's what we help people do, get connected with the folks to make that happen. So now that we talked a bit about the difference in the types of, of models and the types of industries that are offering the franchise model and debunking the myth that it's only one type, 